Well, I tell you what, I'm fired up about being here. I don't know about y'all, but are y'all fired up? All right. I'm here to talk about Utah culture shock. Utah is a unique culture, and I'm not originally from here. Maybe you can tell by the accent. Maybe I use some phrases you don't understand. But I'm originally from Charleston, South Carolina, and these are some beautiful photos that you're going to see that's going to make you want to get the hell out of here and go to Charleston. All right. So let me tell you why I'm here to begin with. Uh, first of all, I moved here about two years ago. I met a local girl that was actually in Charleston, and she lived there for nine years, and she said, I wanted to move back to where my family was. So I said, hey, I got a great idea for a job offer. I'm going to come out here because it's such a wonderful place. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> so when I got out here, there's some things I, I noticed right off the bat. The first thing I noticed was there's not very much of anything out here. It's a frozen wasteland. We got here in December, there was snow, and that was it. Second thing I noticed are people aren't very friendly out here. Nobody talks to anybody. You can't start a conversation with people. People are reserved. So if you really want to piss people off, just say hello to them and start talking about anything. It's great. And there was one thing I really did notice, but I just couldn't put my finger on it. It was just the very most odd thing I've ever seen in my life. There are a lot of white people out here. And it's, it's, a, it's a shame. If you've never seen a Tyler Perry movie, you should watch it because it is dead. That is the truest form of black culture in the South. And boy, do I love it and miss it because they are the most entertaining people. And you come out here and the Utah Mormons are just so boring and so rigid that it's hard to assimilate with them. And I, I actually am a convert to the church, and I'm an only child. And yes, they do exist, but just not out here. So when I tell people, hey, I just joined the church when I was 19, and I never served a mission, and I'm an only child, they look at me like I'm, I'm retarded or something. I don't know what their problem is. I hope you guys enjoy this slideshow. Look at that. that is, that's what a river is. You guys come out here, and it's like a, it's a stream. <laughs> It's great. It's great. I love it. So I came out here for a job. That job didn't really work out. It was a commission sales job. I got out of the IT field, and I wanted to come back out and get into the IT field. And you got to love the IT field out here because there's just so many of you guys out there looking for jobs, so many skills, so many different companies to work for. Back in Charleston, it was either you worked for Blackbaud, which uh, made software, or you worked for Spay, uh, Spay Wars, which did that black ops government stuff that we really aren't supposed to talk about. And so I, I got out here, and when I applied for jobs, it was interesting because in, I have a bachelor's degree. In South Carolina, I got interviews like crazy just because I'm educated. <laughs> I come out here and people are like, so, so what, what can you do? <laughs> so I ended up getting a job and I, and I love it. I, I, work, I, I work for the state of Utah, which was, was kind of all right, I guess. But now I work for the University of Utah for the Center for High Performance Computing. <laughs> Woo! We don't have high performance computing in South Carolina. <laughs> We're lucky to have usable computers. Literally, the, the power lines and all the lines are buried underwater. I'm not, well, not really underwater, but they're buried in the ground. And every time it rains, groundwater cuts the internet. So it's like a natural disaster every day. <laughs> and these are some great fun things we love to do. We like to go fishing. We like to drive in the mud. We like to avoid co uh, cotton mouths because them suckers will come after you. And they hurt, too. <laughs> and uh, by the way, we are big on the Civil War. That is our famous hero, uh, General Wade Hampton. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm running out of things to say because I changed my talk up, and I didn't really know how much time I had. Uh, but I will say this. One thing I have noticed this year is about sports. Uh, in South Carolina, college football is the religion. Out here, people seem to think there's a religion attached to a, fo a certain football team. <laughs> well, let me just say, let's compare BYU and Notre Dame. Notre Dame has 11 national championships, and, and BYU has one. B uh, Notre Dame's associated with the Catholic Church. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I just want to say, you know what? Mountain West teams do not belong in the BCS. Wow.